Um, if I could share a, a diagram real quick. Um, Please. If you'll allow me to do that. Yes, I will. And I've got a term for that, just like I had working coin. Uh, I've got a term for this too. Well, you know, uh, it, it's 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 good, you know, uh, because we need something, off, right? Yeah, I took off from the energy stuff. They talk about net zero energy, whatever. I call it net zero usage-based economic. Therefore, how can you run the operation around your data at a net zero expense to you? It's not that you're making a fortune out of it. Just a, it becomes free for you. And this is actually, but this changes the revenue stream completely. Therefore, when people use your data, you notify them that something's changed, but they have to come, when they go to pull it, they're going to pull something out of their wallet, even if it's a microcharge. Therefore, they're never really taking a copy of it. You still have control of it. You're just giving them a view of it. So, and it can have that light speed. So, so if I was, you know, um, uh, I'm a, a simpler guy than you. Mm -hmm. If I was to, um, to me, and if I was, you know, I live in Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to go to Des Moines, which mm -hmm. is west. I can, in fact, go east and get to Des Moines. It could take a lot longer. True. Right? This is what I think I'm hearing from you, that... If we stick with the centralized, with this, this structure, that inevitably it doesn't, it, it's not the direction that, that the future is going. I mean, it, you know, uh, Internet 3.0 is not going to bow to real estate. The consumer will not bow to real estate. No, it'll just go around the, it's like having a, uh, a stone in the middle of the stream. It, the stream will go around you. It will. And the Internet 3.0 is designed for that consumer experience. So that's what they're actively seeking out. That's right. Users yeah. own their data. Right. So could, I could see, and I'm going to ask if you could see where, you know, when we talk about these third-party intermediaries, I want to just be very sp specific. We're talking about MLSs and uh, associations. Right. Okay. Pretty much. There's There's a bunch of others, little here and there. I personally believe in their value. Okay, I just don't believe that they should be driving the the, the value. I, I think that they're they're necessary. Um, and, and and my question and or point is, could you see how this uh, amount of content, okay, could also be a boon to the people that are responsible to keep it in order? Um, with one caveat, the early blockchains, the ones we know, um, very well today, all data you put in is public. What we need is a blockchain that has public and private counterparts. So therefore, as a data owner, you manage what's private data versus public in a blockchain way. But without that, uh, I don't know if we can get to this other point we're talking about because everything you put in a blockchain is public. Right. So no. if you if we, in order to change this revenue cycle, you've got, you've got to be able to hold some data back or protect it. If you're, uh, I mean, nobody's going to put showing instructions out there. I mean, nobody, you know, in a public, yeah. right? But but that's private. Right. Uh, so is there a way to do that? And some of the newer blockchains, with the Web three, mm -hmm. are attempting to do just that: have private and public uh, pieces. But then it comes up to the data owner to manage what's public, what's private. So it adds more responsibility onto the brokers than they had before. I see. And and, and not necessarily with uh, direction either. Right. Um, which is, um, <laughs> I hate to refer back to other diagrams. Uh, maybe Please. briefly hit another diagram real quick. Yeah. Okay, okay so um, um, this one, this one is from a post I did, uh, I think, two weeks ago. Okay, so if you surround the data on the blockchain with smart contracts, which is what you would do, they would mm -hmm. protect the data because the data itself is private. Mm -hmm. And only through the smart contract can you get access to it. So who would publish these smart contracts? So you might want to have things like 
attribution contracts and distribution contracts and delegation ones. If you have uh, you know third parties you want to delegate things to special types of purposes. So who would publish these? And I see associations and MLSs and policy people becoming publishers of rules that can be adopted around your data, but you're the one who chooses to, to use it. To a degree, I think Emra does that. Or they're trying to. In a centralized way, right, but not in a right. blockchain. Right. So it's um, the same thing you would have centralized where they have those rules, but they'd, they'd publish it as just the rule part, not the data part. You own the data, use their rules around your data in the blockchain. So let me throw a, a hypothetical out to you. I like, I, I mean, this is, you're, you're, you're really giving me a, a a lot of great information. And and you know what, Mark? The, the thing well, we should that, do follow-ups on this. Uh, oh, we, we, you know, we, we, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, I've been thinking about the uh, topic uh, since about uh, 2017 or so. Well, you and know. It, I mean, I've, made, I've made missteps on it. This doesn't work and this doesn't work. And I started to realize some things like, no, 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 no. Okay. So, you know, if you mesh it up with the business and what the true business is being, that the value of the business is the, the information. The owner of that information is the broker. So that's the place to go to. Everybody else is just hanging on. And if you don't serve the consumer. Well, hey, true. every broker knows that. Every agent. Well, I, you know, right, yes right. and no. Yes and no. I mean, you know, sometimes um, we the, it's the options at hand, right? You know, it might not be what you, what you, sometimes you don't know your options. And I think this is the, actually, this is exactly what you're doing for me. Because, you know, Mark, you come from a, a, a lot of credibility, all right? And I'm just an old fart from Chicago. And when I, and I kind of picked a fight about this, everybody poo-pooed me because they're like, you know, um, no, we got this. And uh, I don't see it that way. Now, I'm going to ask you something hypothetically um, because you've given me a lot of information and I don't want to overstate what, uh, like, you you use a word and it was it was something about size and it wasn't minute but it was small. You basically micro it, micro microeconomics micro yeah it's micro payments micro payments and then you said something like fifteen cents, which you know I keep thinking who wants to do paperwork for fifteen cents but that's just a real estate guy right? But well, that's every access. I mean at the end of the month I believe that it, why would it be outrageous to say that you could pay for all the coffee and all the gasoline needed to service that property while it was for sale, and that became net zero. You know, we're not talking I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars on this stuff. So, no, 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 you're right. Yeah, if you can buy you know what Starbucks is, I mean, you're gonna do a Starbucks every third day, tank of gas, and that that those costs comes out, and, and other people are giving you the money to do that. You still get your commissions and things like that, you know, on the transaction mm -hmm. side. But mm -hmm. let's make the advertising part of it net zero. So let me let me give you something even maybe a little different or better. I'm not sure. So I I, I like this. And and let's say um, you know, the guys, the people that really are gonna feed this are gonna be the people. I mean, there's only so much you're gonna do is your brand. I mean, unless you want to spend a lot of money and make up a, a mascot and everything. This is this is more for to me. Um it, it, it's a more personal. I mean, you're gonna have your 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 you know, higher level branding and everything. But uh, once again, you know, I'm coming in as a practitioner, you know, but as a broker owner too. So no, knowing that everyone has to make their money. So sure. what if I, you know, taking that, you know, assumption and I, and, and, you know, hell, I'm in mean, from Chicago. How, how long would it take me to find out who, who's really putting the most uh, up there and out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, professionals know. Right, right. I'm sorry, they just do. Right, right. So... So let's just say that that um, you know I, I I like the this 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 entity this real estate channel to be owned by the people that are fuel on the fire right yeah. okay yeah. could I take a hundred of them right now right and give them ownership through blockchain so that they could share in the revenue that was uh, uh, there that was coming out of there. Another portion of it could go to the communities that are um, are real estate oriented, but they're not in our main mainframe kind of. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. 
Because I, I want to give you a very specific example, Chicago. Chicago, as you know, has, has had some challenges with, with, with safety. With, you know, and um, it, uh, what we, we all know uh, in, the indus- in the industry is that real estate is a source, is a great source of revenue, right? And that's what this is about. Clearly, clearly. Right? I mean, the big, back, big guys know that. Well, yes, they do. Yeah. I mean, right. And brokers generate all that revenue. That's right. And before the technology was not there, I mean, think about this. You had to be centralized. You had to. Right. But now that's just like, you know, somebody double charging you. That's kind of the way I look at it. And now, efficiency works its way out of the system because it always does in a um in a free market. Efficiency yes, it does. Will always rule. As long as there's a way to do it, you know. You know. Right. Right. So I'm gonna ask you about a way. 